emotions, we just keep it down, down inside Yeah, you and I, both longing for expression for the things we like But we stay quiet Hold me now, hold me now, tell me things, tell me all about how you feel Just let yourself go Say it loud, say it loud, wake the world on the other side, make it real Just let yourself go, just let it go Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Yo, today is a really great day because we're here with Jillian. You guys saw how that video started out. Jillian is here enjoying herself, you know, taking photos and stuff like that. Yeah, and I like coming out with people like that who's not afraid to jump in the water, take some pictures because that's all experience that I want to offer to you guys, you know. Some good food, good atmosphere, camping out, whatever the case is and you'll get your photos taken. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, we're going to be doing, um, I consider this a copycat recipe of Jamaican spicy KFC chicken. Now, that's one, I think barbecue is a lot more higher on the list. Drop in the comments if you guys think so. But I'm going to try the spicy chicken version. Um, I've got inspiration from a couple chefs. I've gotten from international chefs, blah, blah, blah. But one of my biggest inspirations was from Morris Time Cooking. You guys, if you like cooking videos, you might have watched these videos. I did learn a couple stuff from it as well. The ingredients are ingredients that I typically use in my fried chicken. But um, yeah, I'm going to try it this way because he used to work in a KFC kitchen. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be a whole vibe. Big up Morris time if you never heard of it. And I'll catch you guys when we start this cooking. So, are you a KFC fan? You're not so unsure. No, man, I like barbecue and hot and spicy. Barbecue and hot yeah. and spicy. All right, so you're gonna be one of those persons that will come here. I honestly don't think it's that easy to get to exactly like KFC, but we're gonna try it today, right? Yes. You're you're thoroughly enjoying your photo shoots. I I, I noticed. I'm having a ball. I feel like a model. Feel like a I'm model. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the boring part for some, which is the cooking part. But for me, that's where I enjoy. <laughs> How do you feel being out here in nature, man? It's lovely. Huh? It's really, really nice. Really nice? It's lovely, yeah. Not kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm freezing right now, but... So, would you be up to come on like a, a camping trip, on a soy camping trip? That's the way. Yeah, that's the way? That's the way? I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to get this cold, you know? That's the vibe, man. Good that you're having a good time. Ooh. I'm going to make a place to make a little bed. A bed? Yeah, you know that when you eat a nigga right, you say to you, you can't hold a little nap. What do you say?
All right, so we have the chicken in a marinade. This is like the KFC's um, special ingredients. Honestly, I don't think everything for that special ingredient is gonna definitely be in it because it wouldn't be quite a secret, but I think it's gonna take it really close to it. Um, yeah, I had it in a marinade. So this is the marinade. I put all the ingredients in the description box so you guys can copy it and do it. And yeah, start open. This is what it looks like it's full of seasoning if you ever take a taste of this i guarantee you you're gonna cough like it's the cayennes the, the chili peppers it's ridiculous but those are the stuff that is on it and then we're just gonna dip it into the bread the strange thing about this recipe is that it doesn't call for eggs so i'm interested in seeing how it's gonna come out but i'm sure it's gonna be great because i've done it before without eggs Frying some chicken. Yo, look at that, yo. It's ridiculous. Wow. Always, I, we just in the girls, them is, we just, you know, I'm very musical, turn them into the Yeah. All right, so we're gonna drop our ties in. One thing that I learned, which I found really cool from Mars' time, was actually breaking the rib in half. So this particular bone here separates, and that way the chicken cooks all the way through a lot quicker. You understand? You don't have to worry about the blood and whatever. That was, that was mint to actually learn that. So I'm going to start out with the, the thighs first Yeah, you're hearing some people in the background because they don't know Kids are here and playing ball and them type of stuff There's a vibe There is a method mentioned about tossing the chicken like how they do it in KFC But what I'm going to do is how I normally do a chicken which is to, to, um, to pack it And that's because I don't have a big bowl to really toss it so well I'm going to use it in a bag So you just make sure that everything is properly coated and you kind of squeeze on the meat a little bit but I think the most interesting part in the method that I saw was dipping the chicken in water and then back in flour so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mixture of the water and the marinade because I want as much of that flavor there and then dipping it back into flour alright so that's the marinade I'm going to add some water to it up a little bit and then we'll go do a quick dip into this wow flour still hold on so we're going to make it drip for me I just go put it in here for now in another bowl and we're going to fry the thighs first because we're outdoors and we know different parts of the chicken cook at different times so get a more even cook we will go with the thighs first Drop them right back into the floor again. It's a really interesting technique. Never tried it before. <laughs> but you know, cooking is a fun thing. So again, I'm going to use how I do it just because of this circumstance. But you can be at home and do it the KFC way. You do that. I think they say you fold it seven times in the floor to make sure you get an even coat and this looks about even yeah five all right so we dust off the tie
this thing open Can't put no more than that, you know Overflow. But honestly, hoping this is the right temperature. <laughs> we just gotta hope and pray, bro. Cause you want it to have a slow golden. You understand? You don't want it to be too fast. So hopefully, that time the stove nicely enough to have it up a nice slow gold. Take your time and cook. So, what I was trying to show Jillian right now is how to turn up and how to turn down an outdoor stove you understand so unfortunately you know man have the luxury like persons like yourself with um you know the nice stoves at home and the dishwashers and stuff like that everything we do out here you know is primitive and they're looking at me in disbelief like you know how is that even possible <laughs> <laughs> You don't have a basket, you have to just flip the chicken and be careful that you don't want the top to burn. But if you have a basket, it's a lot better. Just have to make it work, yeah? Alright, we're not doing so badly. I mean, the rain started to fall and kind of slow us up a little bit, but not doing too bad it's looking kind of nice looking kind of nice already i like that but really it's about the flavor yeah yeah so today kiana will be Curtis sanders <laughs> improvising and creating his own form of potatoes potato fried chicken potato fried chicken at the <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> all right you are going for that. So explain the inspiration to this dish. So one day I was at home and hungry, hungry boxing. And I had some miniature potatoes. And I was like, if you can fry chicken, why can't you fry potato the same way? So you mean like French fry? Yeah, French fry, French fry potato. So I'm going for that. And you know I learned this from you with the um the butter and the, the oil. Yeah. Where you, you, you add a little bit and just when I use olive oil instead, that give you a butter flavor. Butter flavor, don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see that? They improvise in the flavor. So you know we're out here with no fear. We just try everything. And you just make history, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you know? That's good. You know? Alright, Jilly, carry carry the ball, please. Took out them chicken and chicken and supposed to be ready. Should I drip off any of the excessive oil? You can probably could drip bath it at home at the cooling rack. And put the chicken on that, but that's all we are dealing with today. Those are our fry thighs. Yeah, all right. Colonel Kiani. <laughs> the chef Kiani is back. 
Mm. What is going on here? Mm. What is going on here? No, we just had to do the, 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 the flat side first and thing and thing. So flour the pan the, the, the potato. Yeah. Mm. Flour it up to add a little extra crunch to it, you know? Okay. Wow! He did Look it! Look at you! Thank you. Chef Kiani! Size them, looking nice. Alright, alright, Jilly. Gonna try a piece while it's hot. Try about to rain, so. <laughs> so the rain come down. Oh, sorry, man. I had to still eat. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just in, in the rain eating my chicken. I'm <laughs> in my own business. Is it spicy? It's, it's spicy, but it's not too spicy. Nice. I like the meat in yeah. here. Cooked. It's cooked, but you can taste the seasoning. It like tastes like the skin. Superb. Awesome. You know the chicken is good. Yeah. Then a person like me who love ketchup, don't even need ketchup. Yeah, because oh, yeah, I was about to say the like, ketchup, but the rain. No, but I don't need it because it's so good. Like. Nice. Because you try your piece, Carl. Rain, yeah. I'll go with it up. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we're out here making the content nonetheless. Yeah, man, you know. You know, drop a like on the video if you. You know. Because mm. we need the outdoors and things are going to happen. Rain, I'll go fall. Mm -hmm. Can't fight that. Almost pattern. Almost pattern. Almost. Awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna try it for you. I mean, to, to get a KFC recipe, I mean, come on. It's KFC. It is the biggest and baddest fried chicken in Jamaica. I know, let's just be real, man. Wait a minute. It's pretty good. Well, I mean, come on. KFC is KFC. The skin is crispy. Maybe a little bit too crispy compared to the KFC one, but it's good. I think mean, that recipe is a really good recipe. It's very, 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 very spot on close. Mm. It's good chicken. But low key, I like the fact that it's raining, and that's why we out here. Like, you no know, vibe, food, nature. You can't take time, not you later. Okay, I know. Guys, rain in our pot, everything. But that's okay. I think I'm just gonna go get my swim. To be honest, lady before a gentleman. No, no, no. Huh? Why? No, no. no. Well, I'm going to right here. <laughs> no, it's all. Eh? I know you're a gentleman already. You don't need to prove this, so you can go ahead of me. No? <laughs> if you're water, so? Cool. Water, cool. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Alright, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yes Lord! Woo! Oh snap! Boy! <laughs> Yo, this water never gets old. Alright. I'm not jumping off and I'm taking my time going on. Yeah. Alright. Look at that! Woo! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, snap! Hey! Oh. <laughs> All right. Woo! 
Yo, guys, we don't exaggerate when we tell you it's cool. favorite movie, Blue Lagoon, yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. It was a really good movie. Really good movie. Yeah. Come on. 